Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Epcot. As you guys mostly know, Disney World is closing on the 16th, which is just two days away until the end of March because of the coronavirus. So I wanted to come out to Epcot, see what it was like here, see what the crowds are like, and kind of enjoy it before I take a nice little vacay from Disney World, a vacay away from Disney World, which could be great. I'm very excited because I feel like if you spend a couple days away from something, it's more you're gonna appreciate it once you get back. So let's go do this. I guess a good start would be to walk on Spaceship Earth through the standby line. There's nobody here. <laughs> really appreciating Spaceship Earth right now because in two months it's going to be closing for two years. And with uh, Walt Disney World closing for basically the last part of March, it just cuts down the time that you can ride it before it's not here anymore. Well, it's going to be here, just not the same one. During your slow moving journey, your time There's nobody in the carts ahead of me. That was a great start to the day. I mean, when Spaceship Earth is a five minute wait, well, a walk on, you just do it. You just, you just do it. But now I think we're gonna head on over to the land. Look at that beautiful Spaceship Earth. I love it when the nighttime lights and effects come on, just when it's still daylight out. It's majestic, isn't it? It's important to note that the pathways are just clear as you're walking through. Like I said, not a lot of people are coming down and they had to cancel their vacations. And most of the people that are still here are the ones that were currently on vacation. And of course, your annual pass holders. And like I said before, I think it's a good thing that they're actually shutting down the parks to cut down the spread of the virus itself. And like I said, I can use a little break. And that way that when I come back, I'm just gonna be like, I'm so excited to be back. And I'll be so happy, you know what I mean? The longer you go without something, the more you learn to appreciate it. We probably could ride the seas too, since I think that's a walk on. But I think we're gonna try to spend our time a little bit more wiser. I only have an hour left in the park. It closes at nine o'clock. And from the looks of this, it looks like there's not many people looking to go soaring today either. Wow. I just checked the app. Soren is only at a 20 minute wait. Wow. Since it's such a beautiful night tonight and the wind is blowing like very nicely I decided to grab a Bud Light and also I want to check on Journey into Imagination with Figment. I bet you there's not a single person waiting to ride that ride right now Nope, I don't think anyone's waiting. I love the inside of this queue It's actually really cool too. It's got good AC Oh man Literally, there was nobody waiting and I didn't even finish my beer. I'm gonna have to hang out up here. Hi, you gotta finish. I said I had like another 10 seconds to finish. And I'm pretty sure I've got 
my own vehicle. Like my own vehicle. I love it. This is so awesome. Look, there's still nobody coming. Just me and Figment and Nigel. Doctor Nigel. <laughs> Bye. Have a good day. <laughs> Special drive through open house. I'm Dr. Nigel Channing, chairman of the Imagination Institute. Here's, it's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. Continuing now, if I may, in a calm, scientific, figment free manner, the things we see with our eyes can control the eyes of the imagination. Uh, let's begin using the eye chart to test your vision. This is not a good time. It's always a good time to use your imagination. So let the good times roll! just like Spaceship Earth. If you see nobody waiting, you just ride. I can't believe I rode it by myself. So that means that nobody walked into the Imagination Pavilion with, like, it must have been 15 minutes, nobody came in here. Crazy! I guess it would also be a good time if I wanted to meet uh, Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> wow. This is pretty awesome. Yep. And since I'm over here, another thing I wouldn't mind doing is checking out my pal, Mickey Mouse. Hello. Nice! Look at that! Hi, pal! <laughs> Seriously, is nobody waiting? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I like your, oh, there we go. I like this floor. It makes it... What? Magic! <laughs> what? <laughs> That's crazy! Nobody's beating Mickey Mouse. He's just in there. He is literally just waiting for people to come in. Oh, and then when I come out, look at that monorail shot. B-E-A-U-T-F-U-L Actually, I think instead of going and checking out World Showcase, I think we're gonna head over to Test Track and see what the wait time for that is because I feel like everything else is basically a walk-on. What if Test Track's a walk-on? Realistically, I highly doubt that Test Track is a walk-on, but it's definitely gotta be like a low, low wait. I mean, there's no way. I mean, there's like hardly anybody here. It says 55 minutes. But I think they're trying to pull a fast one on us. Oh yeah, 55 minutes. What do you guys think? It is 8.32. Okay, Disney's definitely trying to pull a fast one on us. It says 55 minutes. It is 8.33. 8.33, I'm walking in the standby line. Seriously? <laughs> Look at this. I am like so shocked. Wait till you guys actually see the results of how long it took. 
Walt Disney World said 55 minutes, but the survey says nine minutes. It is 841, nine minutes to get through the standby, and now we're about to board. Crazy! Of course I did use my little trick by skipping to build a car, but, you know. And here we go. your hands up here it goes with the aerodynamics look at that and it drops down That was so awesome. I'm so happy that I decided to do Test Track instead of heading to World Showcase. Honestly, oh, because we did like Spaceship Earth, we did Figment and Test Track in literally under 30 minutes almost. That's not on, that's unheard of. Look, it still says 55 minutes. And if I take a peek in there, there's no queue, I bet. And I also believe if I was feeling frisky, I could ride Mission Space without waiting as well. I don't know. I don't know if I can handle the spins right now. <laughs> but I just want to see if there's actually anybody waiting in line. I doubt it. Ten minutes it says. That one's five minutes. Let's take a look-see in here, huh? A little bit more intense. What do you guys think? Should I do it? I'm here. I might as well do it. Mainly I wanted to see if there's anybody waiting. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. Thank you. You turn it up there. All right. Oh, look at that. Attention astronaut candidates. If you are uncertain whether orange team more intense training is right for you, we strongly encourage you to select green. Gotcha. I actually thought about switching and doing the green less intense version, but I think I'm gonna do it. I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous because uh, it does uh, quite put you down a little bit. <laughs> I want Gary Sinise back. Space exploration. This is going to be the second ride of the day where I ride it all by myself. I'm going to have to somehow fly this ship in all four positions. I don't know which one I should be. I don't know who I should be. Should I be the navigator? Which one? Oh, maybe I'll do both right here. Navigator, you'll fire the thrusters for lunar orbit insertion and for descent to the surface of Mars. Pilot, on my signal, I'll need you to trigger the second state rocket. You'll also deploy the shields. Commander, you will be responsible for first stage separation and activating manual control for landing. Engineer, when it's bedtime, you will activate hyperspace. You will also extend the wings for landing. Ooh, I'm in charge of the sleep. When it's time to push the button. 
Okay, I kind of have an idea. I got a team here. My magic band is going to be one. So we're going to set that there. Good spot. And the hat's going to be another one. We'll set the hat there. And, uh, oh man, I don't know. I don't have any other personal belongings on me. I guess we're just going to be down an engineer. I'm kind of glad I got my own one. I mean, it seems really cool. It makes things easier to film, like when you're on the ride, when you're by yourself. Well, I do have my hat and my magic band as my navigator. I just realized my magic band glows in the dark. <laughs> Look at that. I have not rode that ride in probably months and that's exactly why it's just so much pressure <laughs> I could do some advanced training if I wanted to normally I don't get to play around in the little play places because there's kids in there well there is a sign it says 2 to 12 oh well <laughs> oh there is one more thing I wanted to do before I leave I gotta get my pass holder magnet and I bet you I don't have to wait for that either. Nope. There is a wait for those magnets still. And with that, I think I am done. I chose this spot to do my exit because I like the music. <laughs> so, I had a lot of fun here tonight. Um, now it's going to be probably two weeks before uh, I get to come back. I'm still going to make videos though. Um, they're not going to be in the parks. I don't know what I'm going to do, but... Uh, you know, just random stuff. I mean, I haven't always done Disney vlogs. Uh, it's just something that I like to do. So, like, if I had to choose, I would want to come to Disney because that's what I want to do. That's what I want. To, that's what I like to do for fun. But I mean, I've done home vlogs, other amusement parks, shopping vlogs. I've done a lot of it. So, uh, everyone, be safe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.